right, collectors, today on the channel, we're going to take a look at some of the new product coming out of Gridiron to upgrade your vamp. You guys know me, I'm always about customizing, but you know, sometimes you maybe don't want to do all these little customizing things. Maybe somebody's already done it in a 3D print format. And, and you guys know me, if it's an American company, uh, small business owned, then I'm going to do my best to support them, especially if they're doing something I like. So number one, let's take a look at here. I'll put a picture of the gridiron product that I picked up here. It's the roll cage, the vamp roll cage upgrade. I've also got the driver side uh, coming and the uh, passenger side. Uh, upgrade coming and we're going to take it all uh, we're going to take a look at all of it i'm going to put it all together and see what the whole phase looks like um breaking news i forgot to mention we have a winner a winner of the contest uh for the uh snake eyes and timber classified set and the 25 dollars gift card to gridiron uh, Great Iron did not provide it to me. I, I picked it up of my own, uh, uh, well, of my own funds. Uh, and that is, uh, you know, we solved the riddle that was given in the previous video. The, the person who solved that was Matthew Fernandez. Um, thank you so much for your service, Mr. Matthew. Uh, he is a fellow Army service member <laughs> so uh and he did knock out 20 uh for winning so i appreciate that that was that was a that was good um the answer to the riddle was a long forgotten but much well i loved it love tv show called auto man uh, i think it came out in 1983 there was all the clues were given in the video uh, now, here's the thing. I'll show you how he solved the riddle. Uh, and I remember why I told you guys, watch it all the way to the end because there are clues the whole way through. So um, thanks for playing, Matthew. Uh, uh, great work on it. I'm going to be making a video as to how he solved it, maybe like a five or six minute video. I always do a video on how people solve it uh, so that more people can uh, participate and be a part of that experience uh, and, and, you know, show you how to solve these riddles. They're, they're, they're just dependent on how much work you want to put in it or, and how much, uh, you know, a fun you want to have. So thanks for playing, everybody. Back to the video. The gridiron roll cage. Uh, here's what you get in the box. You get a nice little number one. Let's just take this out of here so that we can go through it. Here we go. Let's take it out one by one. Here is the roll cage with the, I, yeah, this is the, I guess this is the ammo container, I believe. It feels sturdy. It feels well made. It feels sturdy. It's got that, you know, quintessential <laughs> gridiron new plastic smell to it intoxicating it's intoxicating i tell you so uh here it is very nicely done nicely finished it's got a little bit of striations as as all 3d printed uh materials usually have uh so th there's that now we've got some more stuff here <clears throat> okay oh this is very nice i only thought it came with one let's pop this out real quick Let's see, there we go. All right, so we've got a couple of ammo belts. Very nice. There you go. There we go, some ammo belts. And then we have some, well, I don't know if that's, anyways, you've got some hooks here. And uh, we'll take a look at what those, I think these are for like holding different backpacks or holding different gear and stuff. So uh, I'm excited about that. Love, love to get a look at that. Does it have some color on it? Oh, they did. They put a little bit of paint on it. They put a little bit. Looks like a, a or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. 
Uh, anyways, there you go. Some hooks there. I, I'm, I'm thinking to hang on to that or to, you know, put, uh, put some stuff on it. All right. So let's do this. Um, I'm probably going to fast forward through this. So let's get going. I didn't have to fast forward through that at all. <laughs> that went right on there. Look at that. I'm not going to fast forward through that. I thought I was going to have to fast forward through that, play around with it. No, it literally just goes, it literally just snaps right in there. It goes right on top of that. Look at that. It holds really nice too. Very nice. Now, what is the closest thing that Gridiron produces to that original uh, mock up there? How about this? Look at that. Let me see if we can push these in. Do these go in there? Let's see. There they go. Right, they fit right on there. So, from those 50 cows to these 50 cows, and look. Boom, the, the ammo cans are auto feeders right into the, the actual weapon. So, the, the ammo cans have somewhere to go. <laughs> And look, you have a little uh, sight there for anybody who wants to jump on the back there and start letting them have it. So I don't know which, I mean, this one looks, I don't know, which one do you like better? This one or this one? Number three or number two? <laughs> I'm gonna come back at the optometrist there for a minute. So there's a, there's a 50 cal on there for you. Very cool. Wow, but you know what? What if you don't want a 50 cal or what if you want something that fires since I'm a, a gridiron, you know, addict <laughs> for lack of a better word. Uh, what if I don't want a 50 cal up here? What if I want a little bit of variety? Maybe I don't need that much firepower, right? Maybe I just need, um, look, let me show you. Maybe I'm, I don't need that much firepower. Maybe I just need a regular old. This isn't a saw. I think this is a 60. I don't know. Yeah. So let's set this one up. So if you want to instead, you know, the only problem with this is you're, you're, uh, Joe's going to have to stand up here. So I'm, you know, I'm assuming that gridiron is going to make some kind of a stand to go back here. But uh, in case you want this now, what if you just don't need all that firepower and you want something akin to this? Here, hold on one second. Port that in there. Port that there. And then maybe push this into there. Boom. And there you go. What if you want something like that? How about that? You know, you don't need all that much firepower. You want to keep it light for today. Uh, you know, because maybe today's a lighter day. <laughs> a lighter killing day. So... Uh, only problem with this one is you're probably going to need, you know, he's probably going to need to sit down over here or something. Maybe he could, I wonder. You could have it like that, I guess. You could kind of sit up there. I don't know. I'm just, you know, we're just doing a little bit of a play date here. Look at that. Just have a little fun with that. You can sit up there and kind of, he's riding in the back there, taking out enemies if he has to. All right, but... That's not our only option, right? That's a smaller weapon system. Let's take him out of there. Let's put this back up. I don't want to lose all my parts, man. So we already tried a dual 50 cal. We already tried an M60, I believe. I believe. Nobody beat me up at the comments if I get it wrong. What if you want something with a little faster rate of fire? Well, you're in luck. You're in luck. At 209 Ed's Gun Omania. <laughs> We've got a little a little more stuff for you. Some more stuff. You can take 
this bad boy right here and set it up. Look at that. And we can use the, um, the weapon system that comes with, I believe, let me see, can we get it in there? Yeah. We can get that in there like that, port it into there. And then we can take this and port it into this ammo box back here. Let's see if we can get it in there. Uh, there goes that. And boom, you got yourself a um, another faster rate of fire right there. Smaller than the 50 cal, but way more faster rate of fire, way more effective uh, against smaller uh, infantry units. So um, you got that. I don't know. Does it look cooler to you? It kind of does to me. I like that more compact look. I mean, this is cool too, and so is the 50 cal and the and the and the other one. But this one looks very nice as well. Hold on, what if you said, you know what? I like this, but I just I I'm gonna need one more. We've got at Ed's Gunorama. <laughs> well, hold on. Let's see. Let's uh, let's put this up. We've got you covered. Boom. Let's do this. Say you need a higher rate of fire, but you also don't want as large as a 50 cal slow rate of fire or as destructive. You want fast. You want fierce. You want dual heavy machine guns. Let's get it on here. Let's see if we can mount this in here, port it into that. You know, that's the one thing that I love about Gridiron. Once, once you get their weapon system mounts done, or you find some that you like, you can switch these around all day. Different configurations. I did that with the Cobra Venom Tracker, as one of my viewers called it. <laughs> That was fun. So, boom. Oh, this one popped out. Dang, gum it. Now, is the other one gonna pop out? Dang, gum it. There we go. All right. Maybe push these up a little bit there. Anyways, you, you get the gist. It doesn't, you know, there, there they go. I mean, there's where it feeds in the ammo. But here we are. Look at that, dual, well, it comes off. Man, you know, oh, hold on, you know what? Maybe it'll fit better up here. Feed it into this top barrel. Anyways, you can feed it any which way you like. Um, leave it on, leave it off, maybe it feeds down here. However you like it, but look at that. Now, there's, Gridiron even sells more weapon systems like this. So, I mean, you can configure all kinds of stuff all day. Um, let's configure it with with uh, something that I'm I'm want. I oh wait, you know what? Forgot one. What if what if you want to configure it with some kind of a reach to it? Right? We got you covered at Ed's. Gunorama. <laughs> Let me see if this will work. Let's see. Does it work up here? It does work up here, but I want it to fit back here. Will it fit back here is the question. I don't think it will, so it has to fit up here. That's not bad, though. It still looks really good. There you go. So you've got a rocket launcher system now on your, um, on your vamp. There you go. Turn it around, fires that direction, fires this direction. Now, I forgot to bring it from upstairs, but Red Iron also sells like a little uh, antenna that you can stick on top of it or a radar dish, and that uh, can also uh, be used. So I love it. You've got all kinds of options here. Now, the other thing that, that um, 
they said you could do is with these little hooks, you can actually mount stuff like, like let me say like, ah, let's just put this one on here. So we can put that on here. And if we want to, you know, if, so some of their backpacks, I don't have one here, but you can actually put stuff on here or mount it in here, like their backpack and just carried it on there. So you get two of these and one of these. So I'm sure, do I have a backpack over here? I don't have one handy. Wait, uh, he doesn't have anything though to latch onto. Oh, well, but you get, you know, you get the gist. Uh, I think some backpacks have a little bit of something there that you can kind of click onto this and it'll hold it. So I dig it. All right, so just real quick, I actually goofed up and there is one more iteration that's real handy to do here. As you can, as you can see, I kind of left it with this one. Now, what I also wanted to tell you is that there is another one version of these that you can mount on here and it's got a shield on it. I'll put a, a, I'll put a picture of it right here. You can go to his website. Here's what it is uh, that you can use here. For now, I like this one, but as soon as I get the one with the shield, I'm putting it up here because I've always been a big believer in, you probably wanna be shooting behind some cover. That's smart. So let me, this is the other trick from this that I just boneheaded left out. Pop this off. Let's take this off real quick. Come out of there, you. Pop that out of there. Now, what you can do is you can, Let's see if we can take this off here. Let's see if I need to pop this off from here. Or did I, did I, what did I do with that? Oh, those are silly me. Those are already in there. Okay, hold on. Pop these off from here. Had some tack on them. And I believe yeah, that's why they left it smaller. You can actually pop this off. Take this part off here. Set this back in there. Uh, and where did he put this one at? One second. And so essentially, there you go. Now, I don't, I, I took the other one, I, I left it upstairs. But anyways, you can put one chain, one ammo belt here and the other ammo belt goes and it puts, you know, it plugs into the other side, ports into the other side. And there you go, you can use the original 50 cals that came with it. So you lose none of the functionality and these ammo boxes are very secure there. So uh, there's a plus, wow, wow. I mean, now you have, you can leave it in the original configuration. You can change all the different. Yes. <laughs> yes. Go get you one of these things. All right, guys, back to the video. Now, what did you think, guys? Do you like the new roll cage by Gridiron? Are you guys going to go out and get one? Are you excited about it? I know I had to get one. Definitely had to go out there and get one. I, um... A matter of fact, I think I think I might leave this on here, but I have to figure now. Now I got to make some hard choices. <laughs> Which one of these weapon systems am I gonna leave on here? I'm I'm almost tempted to leave this one on here. It just looks so cool. I'm just tempted to leave that one on there. Anyways, um, what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna? Um, pick it up? Are you not going to pick it up? Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, let me put, let me put this one on here. Oh, I don't know where this one goes now. Oh, well, I'm sure the, I'm sure you guys will either gridiron or tell me that I screwed up or you guys will tell me that I screwed up. So, uh, I think maybe this one goes right here. We'll just, you know what? We'll just stick it right there for now. Yeah, there you go. Um, so what do you guys think? Are you going to go pick one up? Are you not going to go pick one up? Do you like it? Did you like the review? Um, I'm always doing gridiron stuff. And whenever I can find uh, new items, uh, custom items from small vendors, you know, I'm always going to give them some deference and some, uh, you know, publicity. 
I, I like what they do always about, you know, making, making the, you know, the, the small American owned business, you know, successful. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for the journey. We're moving up to 2000. We're getting there quick. Uh, and, and gosh, thank you for participating, uh, in the uh, contest. I didn't think we'd solve it that quick. We got, we, we solved it pretty quickly. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Uh, you know, I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, let's continue to grow the channel. If you watched it this far, that's if you've watched this far, you might as well like and subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. And we get more people in the tribe. <laughs> so thanks for watching everybody. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.